uh, if I recall my history right of that era, and uh, there, there were also at least one, perhaps more incidents of Muhammad, for example, offering a mosque to Christian monks or, or, or Christian travelers for their prayers and offering protection to monasteries. Wasn't there something like that in the, in the uh, history of Muhammad's life as well? Sure. Uh, in the Quran itself, it, at one point it says that these defensive battles that the early believers around Muhammad fought to uh, keep the uh, pagans, uh, militant pagans of the Western Arabia in, in check, it says that these battles had the side effect of protecting churches and monasteries. Uh, and I think being implied that the, uh, the the Bedouin would have gone up and raided those uh, uh, those monasteries and churches in uh, southern Jordan if, um, if, if if the believers had not stopped them. Uh, so there's there's and then the Quran says the closest in love to the uh, to the believers are the Christians uh, because they have monks and priests and they're humble and. Uh, and they're kind and, and forgiving and loving. They're, it's praising them for Christian virtues. But it's also clearly indicating a kind of political alliance with the Christians and, a, as you say, a, a, an interest in protecting them. Another verse uh, castigates the Jews and the Christians for attacking one another's houses of worship. The, uh, the sources allege that, that many of the Jews in uh, in uh, the, the Roman former Roman domains that were conquered by Iran um, went over to the Iranians uh, that they felt better treated by the Zoroastrian Iranians than they had by the Christian emperors of Constantinople, uh, and that there were attacks on churches by them, and and likewise we know that the synagogues were attacked by Christians. So the Quran has a verse in which it castigates them for this. It says, "You both believe in the Bible. You should be reciting it and and." and uh, copacetic with one another uh, and uh, kumbaya and uh, and nobody should enter a house of worship with mayhem on his mind. It, you should enter it, you know, praising God and being pious. Uh, and it implies both synagogues and churches should be respected. So these, um, uh, these verses, if you put them all together, they make a very clear picture that the Quran is urging ecumenicism, uh, positive relations among the religions, uh, but where push comes to shove, it's willing to uh, exercise force to protect Christians. Uh, and this is not a new phenomenon in history. The, uh, the, um, uh, a lot of the Arab tribes had signed on as uh, auxiliaries to the Roman army and did provide uh, protection to uh, rural uh, cloisters and monks. And I think uh, the people around Muhammad, some of them had been involved in these activities. and. They took up these values. 